Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida firefighter, here again with Drone Nerds to demonstrate marine operations with the DJI Mavic 3 thermal drone, specifically for missing persons. Whether you have the ocean, like we have behind us, a lake, a river, or any coastal area, this drone is extremely useful and beneficial for missing persons. So stay tuned and we will demonstrate how. Any emergency in a coastal area, time and information are extremely valuable to aid responders. We are gonna demonstrate how this Mavic 3 Thermal can help in those scenarios. Take the ocean, for example. We can have miles of coastline before the nearest inlet. Now, it takes time for ocean rescue, firefighters, police officers, first responders, coast guard to maybe even get out the inlet. We take this Mavic 3 Thermal, launch the drone. We can have valuable information on the whereabouts and the extent of the emergency. If we have an emergency in any body of water, locating them is half the battle. So first, we're gonna take a look at how the color palettes on the Mavic 3 Thermal can locate someone in the daytime. Behind me, I have a couple surfers in the water and we're gonna take a look at which color palettes work best for a daytime situation. Now I have a group of surfers over here. We're gonna fly over to them and we're gonna take a look at how they look with the thermal imaging palette. We're in South Florida right now and it's a sunny day in the morning. Not much wind, we have a swell coming in. And this is how they look normally in the camera. Now that's switch on the infrared camera. And here we have the infrared white hot. You can clearly see the surfers in the water. We'll do a little circle around them and we'll take a look at some of these other color palettes. There they are. There's the coast right there. We'll switch to black hot and look, black hot in the day, we can clearly see them easier. Now let's try the tints. There we have the surfers with the tints palette. Now let's switch to an iron red. There you go. I think I like the black hot a little bit more than the iron red in the daytime here. You can kind of see the different, uh, the current in the ocean, which is pretty cool. Let's try, and we're gonna switch to Arctic and can't really see them as good. It's picking up the different ocean temps. And let's try medical. There you go, that's what they look like. And then we'll do a rainbow. Not as good. So, this is the rainbow too. Still not as good. We can make them out a little bit. But again, this is daytime operations. Now, this is white hot, and I can see them definitely better, in my opinion. And then when I switch to black hot, I can definitely see them better. So, again, daytime operations, South Florida. I have the drone at 150 feet high, approximately, and there's a group of surfers in the water. If, if this was a missing person, I would be able to get that valuable information on whereabouts and location to aid for the first responders coming to the emergency. This is the colored iron red. I can still see the surfers, but I think I like the black hot a little bit better, especially for daytime operations.
Let's talk about an underutilized option on the Mavic 3 thermal drone for locating a missing person where you might have to fly far away. That's taking off in sport mode. You can see the S at the top here. We switch to sport mode and that allows our drone to fly very fast to get to that known location or even unknown location. If we're not worried about any obstacle avoidance and we have a wide open area like I have behind me, it's going to get that drone to that location fast to aid in the emergency. So let's take off and see how it goes. Okay, I have the drone in the air and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend there's emergency way down the coastline. It can be a mile or it can be two miles, whatever it is, but I need to locate that missing person. I'm going to take the remote controller. I took off in normal mode right here and I'm simply going to slide this top button over to the right and I go in sport mode. It says on the screen right here, switched to S mode. Okay, we have the drone in the air and we're gonna pretend an emergency is pretty far away. We have this wide open coastline and we're gonna locate a missing person. First thing we're gonna do is switch to sport mode. You can see it says in the top left, switch to S mode. Let's go ahead and fly and see what happens. You can clearly see the drone is now going horizontal at 45 miles an hour and covering some good ground. Now if we switch the infrared camera, there's what it looks like. And then I can, at the top part of my screen where the thermal pallets are, I can see SBS. That's a split screen and there you go. So once I've located that person that's pretty far away in sport mode, I can then switch back on the remote controller and go back to normal. It kind of allows my drone to be more accurate in the air and it's a little bit easier on the operator operating the sticks. So I have the split screen up here on the thermal imaging camera, Ocean Rescue's out here and I can aid anyone in the emergency. So again, we are in sport mode and we are flying fast. And I switch to my zoom camera that's what it looks like. And then we can go to the infrared color palette. I see this wave runner here. And then we can do a split screen, which is at the top where it says SBS. And there's what the wave runner looks like. We'll go back to the wide angle. And there he is. And we'll pan over here. And we have a group of surfers. So again, the sport mode works really well in covering ground pretty quick. So this is Ocean Rescue out here doing a training mission. If I'm using the drone to aid in the mission, I simply have a bird's eye view and can help them out for a missing person. You can also switch the infrared camera. There's our split screen and you can clearly see I have a good view. And this is during the day with pretty much perfect conditions in the ocean. But it's a valuable tool to help locate a person and if I had a radio, I can simply radio back to them with the exact emergency and where they're located. There they are with the infrared black hot color palette and here's the white hot color palette. That to the left of the wave runner is a buoy in the water. There's black hot and there's what this vessel looks like with a little bit of tint. And then here is our iron red. We'll go back to the wide camera. And there they are. And let's do a little split screen right here. Another good example of using the sport mode is if we have a vessel like we do out here, we have a big sailboat running. If someone were to fall off that sailboat with currents in the ocean and we have a missing person, turn on that sport mode and fly to that location much quicker and then turn it off when you get to the emergency and fly the drone. I wanna take a look at the zoom capabilities on the Mavic 3 thermal drone. We have this group of surfers right off the coast here 
if an emergency happened and we need to zoom up to get a closer look, on the left-hand side of the screen, we click the zoom button here, and there we go. This is 27 times zoom, and as you can see, we have a much clearer and closer picture from pretty far away. There's what the wide angle looks like. I'm pretty far away, and then 27 times zoom, which there I am getting, there they are, there's the group and I could see pretty good from far away what's going on to provide that information. So again, this is 27 times zoom. I can go up and zoom even more, it gets a little pixelated, but this drone has 56 times zoom, so it has uh, pretty good capabilities, and this is if I need to just get a closer look or I can't get close for whatever reason. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the DJI Mavic 3 Thermal Drone for Marine Operations for a missing person. Anytime you can get to an emergency quicker to aid police, fire, first responders, ocean rescue, or the Coast Guard, it's going to be an asset to provide that valuable information to the emergency response. If you have any further questions or comments, leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Have a nice day.